Inmates at Thomas County Prison are working on a new horticulture detail. They're tending a vegetable garden that could end up saving tens of thousands of dollars in food costs. WALB News 10's Christian Jennings takes us to the field. It's not your typical garden. Here, farmers are replaced with inmates, and they're growing vegetables they'll eat at the prison dinner table. Today, we're starting planting. Thomas County Extension Agent R.J. Byrne and Warden Robert Greer came up with the idea as a unique way to cope with rising food costs. On a weekly basis, uh, we spend about $5,000 on food for a week supply, and out of that, probably $1,000 or more in uh, vegetables and produce. And uh, we invested probably less than $1,000 in this project. Here's an example of how much the prison will save. One kernel of corn produces three ears of corn, and the warden paid only $10 for four pounds. Now compare that with what you pay at the farmer's market. Here, corn is two for a dollar. Uh, we're going to grow corn, squash, tomatoes, uh, beans, peppers, and okra, and cucumber. But the soon-to-be colorful, delicious vegetables will benefit more than just you, the taxpayer. They'll provide inmates with a new skill to take with them when they leave their cell. They're really interested in the, uh, the garden, and a lot of them have wanted to volunteer to be on permanent detail for this. So. It's going to save money, and you know, these guys are going to get something that they get to see grow, and they'll be able to eat the reward. But until then, these inmates are just planting seeds of saving. Christian Jennings, WALB News 10, Thomasville.